what's going on guys welcome back to the channel i know it's been about a week since i've uploaded but i have had a lot of things going on uh got a project project at the house going on i've started college this week start trying to get it all figured out but i'm pretty sure i got it figured out and uh yeah i've got something new here behind me um got a new trailer i will show you all that here in a minute i traded a guy my six by twelve which i mean it was in really rough shape i don't really know why the guy wanted to trade but he did but uh, this is a 7 by 14 he said he wanted something smaller to haul his razor on but i'll be honest with you i don't know if the guy will be able to fit his razor on there if he does be able to fit it on there it'll be tight but yeah don't don't uh acknowledge the noise that's from the truck i don't really know what's going on with it but I need to get that uh checked up on but i know it's been about a week i'm sorry guys but i've just been trying to get everything lined out i hope you all understand with the whole college situation and then uh, we got a big, big project at the house going on. I can't wait to get, show you guys. I should have showed you this morning, but a uh, big part of it's going up tomorrow. Most of it's done, framed up, ready to go. Uh, it's going to be the new little, new little headquarters for the, for the business, I guess. Uh, we're going to have one bay of it anyways, if you can't tell by what I'm saying right now. Uh, surely you all will figure out by the hints I just gave you all, but... Yep, we're heading down the road here. We gotta go pick up uh, some money from a customer and then uh, we should be headed to, headed down the road to the two gas stations, you know, I always record on. And then uh, we got Mo one down here in town. But uh, first things first, I gotta go get this money from him. He said I made him in the morning. And then I gotta go cash some checks. We'll deposit some checks into the account and then we'll be headed that way. So we just got that gas station over there finished up. We got this one now. Uh, we get the skag unloaded, get it mowed, get you in set up, get some footage. Uh, but this one they're getting ready to open up and they're gonna sell that 100% gas. As you can see right here on the red label. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. But that's apparently what you're supposed to run your mowers. Let me know down below what you all run in your mowers. I usually just run 93. Um, I know it's more expensive, but makes your mowers run better. So let me get you guys set up here and we're gonna get this mowed. Guys, so as you know, we mow this gas station over here. Um, I swung over here by the Fairfield Inn here. Uh, it looked really high, so I come by. And, you know, as you can see, it's really high. Like there's a level right here where Dad's been mowing on the Kubota. I come by and I was like, um, "Do you have somebody that mows? Because if not, I mean, I can mow. I mow two, pro three properties right here next to you all." And uh, they were like, "Yeah, we do, but they haven't been here in a while." And I was like, "Well, um, have you heard anything from them?" They's like, "No, well." 
Come to find out, I've uh, started to mow it. Uh, I've charged them $100 for first slick because it's real high. But uh, I told them 80 every other time just to get it lined out, get it mowed back down. But hold on, get a phone call. But as I was saying, guys, I've got Tanner over here on the skeg. He's over here mowing this little spot right here. And then I've got Dad out here in the field on the Kubota. Uh, I'm going to get you set up somewhere. But yeah, I'm going to get you set up, getting some footage.